The default shell of the MSYS2 system is the best shell. We're going to use a different shell, the ZS8 shell, which we installed in the previous video. We can configure it via oh my CS8. Google for it, click on the link, click on install, and you can see here install via curl. Select, copy, and simply paste it into the MSYS2 terminal. It has now installed it and opened the shell. We can close it by Ctrl D and manually open it via CSH. Next, we need to edit the configuration files. We can do that from within the MSYS2 system, but we can also do that via the Windows Explorer. Inside the MSYS2 system, you have your home folder. In the Windows side, this is C, MSYS64, home, your username, and here you can see the files. The configuration files that we need is a .zshrc. So you can right click on it and open it, for example, with Notepad. The second file is the .omyzh, themes, and the agnostra file. In the previous video, we also installed vim. So we can do this from within the msys2 system. So with vim, we can open two files at the same time. You can see the .csh.rc and the agnostor csh theme. So we're going to use the agnostor theme. So the first thing would be to set the default theme to agnostor. Save and open the new shell. It has taken effect, but we have missing fonts and that applies to many of the themes. So go to the internet, search for SF Mono Powerline. We see here the GitHub. Click on it, code, and download the zip file. Open the zip file. This is the zip file. You can double click on it to see the files in it, but you cannot use these files. You have to first explicitly extract the zip file. Now we have a directory with the files in there. And these are the font files that we need. Open font settings. Select the font files and simply drag them into add font. So these are now installed. Go to the MSYS2 terminal, go to options, text, and set the new font to the SF Mono Powerline. And we can now see that the fonts are applied. The next thing to do would be to correct that this is dark on dark, which is not really readable. We can do this from, it, from within the agnostor theme file. At the bottom, we can see how the prompt is built up and we need the prompt underscore dear, which corresponds to the path. There is, however, a dark and a light theme and the reason this is dark on dark is because we did not set the solarized theme variable. So let's do that. And do this in the .csh.rc. And explicitly set this to light. Ctrl D, start it again. And we can see it's now nice white on blue. The last thing which I would like to do is have an, um, a string in front of it. We can do this by going to the theme file, look to look for AWS, and we see here the AWS underscore profile. We can set an arbitrary string, which I would like to be the YouTube channel name, right? Close, open, and you can see now that you have the string in front of the prompt. The last thing is to remove the string. AWS. It is hard coded. So go to the string over here and simply remove it. Ctrl D, open the shell again. And this is the prompt as I would like it to have. If you would like something different, a different style, just edit the configuration files to your liking. In the next video, we're going to install Visual Studio Code and make use of the MSYS2 system and the CSH shell.